Hey guys, welcome back to Elevation 44. I have another video for you today, and this one is something that I've been struggling with for the past couple of days, so I thought, okay, if I'm struggling with this, I know many other people are struggling with this and can use the advice that I'm about to give to help bring themselves up into a better place. So what I've come up with is 10 ways to instantly raise your vibrations. And it's so easy for us to get caught off guard. We can be vibing in a high vibrational place and everything is kind of flowing well. And then we let our guards down and all of a sudden we get swept into those low vibrations. That kind of happened to me a couple days ago. Um, things were going well and for the most part I'm one of those people like even if I'm going through a tough time I have learned how to just keep my vibrations high and kind of like push past um, a lot of the things that are going on around me. I will, what I like to describe it as is that your vibrational um, energy field is kind of like a, if you can picture like a um, a force field that is around your body like you're almost like a bubble right um, but it's just this energy bubble that is surrounding your physical body we can't see it but it's there right and you hear sayings like you know like attracts light <laughs> and um, misery loves company well those things come from somewhere because when you're vibrating at whatever level you're vibrating on, whether it's a high level of vibrations or a low level of vibrations, you're going to attract everything in that vibrational field to you. So when you're operating in a low vibrational state, um, you attract things like fear, stress, anxiety, illness. Um, you also attract other people who are in that low vibrational space with dark thoughts and anger and um, gossip and you know it's just really easy to get swept into that low vibrational field and stay there and you hear things about the underworld when people start to you know tamper with drinking and drugs and um, all kinds of other things that can come in that really 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 low depressed state in order for us to have um, you know growth in our lives and to be in a place where we are transcending, right? We need to be vibing at a higher level than all of those other things. We need to be in a high vibrational state. And there are ways that you can get yourself out of that low vibrational state and into a high vibrational state instantly. Like, it works instantaneously. And so I wanna share with you 10 ways to boost your vibrations instantly. Okay guys, these are in no particular order. I'm just gonna ramble them off. So the first way you can boost your vibrations instantaneously is your diet. Your diet, your diet, your diet. You're gonna hear me say it. It all really starts with what you're putting in your body. Yes, we have comfort foods and we have things that we love to eat and stuff like that. But those things are keeping us in low vibrational places. Processed foods, sugar, I hate to say it guys, meat, okay? And the reason why meat keeps us in a low vibrational space is because we are eating the flesh and the energy, essentially, we're absorbing the energy of tortured animals, animals who were tortured, animals who lived their entire lives in fear and horrible conditions, their energy that they accumulated in their lifespan before they were slaughtered is still in their flesh and we eat it and we're ingesting that. I've had countless reports of people who tell me that they went from a meat eating diet to a, either a plant-based diet or a pescatarian diet and they had literally dramatic results in how their anger subsided. They just said they felt angry all the time for no reason. It was because they were ingesting a lot of the emotions and the energy of the animals. So yes, cutting out the meat is vital. Cutting out alcohol. Alcohol keeps you in a low vibrational place. So alcohol, um, meat, 
uh, processed foods because processed foods aren't real foods. They don't have any nutritional value to them whatsoever. It's like you're putting junk in your body and you're not going to go far. You're not going to be able to raise your vibrations if you aren't putting the right things in your body. You need fruits, you need vegetables, you need lots of natural elements, things of the earth, okay? You need lots of water. So these are the things that you want to do to get yourself up immediately. Just change your diet. And I know how hard it is because they put a lot of chemicals and a lot of things in the foods that keep us addicted to it, but you have to be able to push out of that. Once you're able to separate yourself for a little period of time away from those things, your body is going to thank you. And if you try to reintroduce those things back into your body, your body is going to reject them because it now knows what it feels like to be on a high vibrational state and to be operating in a better place. My second tip um, is to exercise. You've got to get the chi in your body moving. And when we talk about chi, you hear chi a lot when it refers to energy. Chi Chi is just the energy force that's moving throughout your body. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're moving and grooving every day, even if it's a little bit. It doesn't matter if you're taking a walk, you're doing yoga, you're just going up and down the stairs a few times, a couple jumping jacks, biking, jogging, whatever floats your boat. You want to move. You don't want your chi to be stagnant. You want that energy to be constantly flowing through your body. It has so many benefits. There are so many articles, so many things on exercise and how it benefits your brain, how it benefits your emotion. Like your, the psychology of it is just too deep for me to even go into in this video. But getting that chi moving so that it's not stagnant is a very important thing to do and it will boost your vibrations instantaneously. Number three, you'll hear me say this time and time and time and time and time and time again, especially if you watch some of my other videos, daily meditation. You have to meditate daily. You know, you need that time to just sit, reflect on your thoughts, think about why you're thinking about the things you're thinking about, thinking about everything. It could be from, you know, what you're putting in your body to what you're doing in your career to how you're interacting in your relationships and to what is going on in the world and with people around you. You have to take that time for reflection. You have to take that time to see where you're going. If you're just moving through life like a zombie, right? You, what are you going to do? You're going to look up. You're going to be 80 if you make it that far, right? Because with diseases and all kinds of things, people are, you know, leaving this uh, world a lot sooner than that. So you, one day you may wake up and you're 80 years old and you're like, where did my life go? Your life went to being a zombie because you were so unconscious of what was going on around you and what you were doing. So you want to take the time to meditate. Again, there are so many benefits just like exercise and eating a good diet to meditation. It helps you with anxiety, with stress, with everything. And a lot of the times you'll find that going into meditation helps you find a lot of the answers that you're seeking from the outside world. So meditation on a daily basis is important. It doesn't have to be super long. I'm not asking you to go to meditation for like two hours a day, maybe 10 minutes at the beginning of your day and 10 minutes at the end of your day just to start. So the fourth thing I want to recommend to boost your vibrations right away is daily affirmations. People underutilize affirmations, but they are vital to our success, right? When you speak positivity over your life, when you speak success over your life, it can only go one way. There is power in words, right? You can write your destiny but you can also speak your destiny, you understand? And so every day telling ourselves we're on the right path, we're doing the right thing, we got this, you know, we're loved, we're supported, those words matter and they will help bring you out of whatever low place you're in right away. Okay, so the fifth thing that I would recommend you doing is listening to binaural beats that increase in frequency. Let me explain. So. If you're in a low vibrational space, listening to binaural beats, which is also known as sound therapy, is working with different frequencies 
And so what you can do is you listen to this frequency and it helps your body move out of that low vibrational state and up into a higher frequency of what you're listening to. And if you're listening to the binaural beats that increase in frequency, it is slowly what it's doing is pulling you up from a low vibrational space or low vibrational frequency up to a higher one. So this is, this sound therapy, there's so many benefits to it. I'm gonna read you some. It reduces anxiety. It increases focus and concentration, lowers stress, increases relaxation. It fosters positive moods. It promotes creativity and it helps manage pain. These are just some of the ways that listening to sound therapy or binaural beats can help you. So if you are committed to even just 10 to 15 minutes of listening to binaural beats every day, that can help you stay in a higher vibrational state. You are moving yourself out of that low place to that high place and then you can maintain being in a high place by just listening to this maybe 10 to 15 minutes every day. Number six. So now that we are on the topic of music, I have to say it guys, I know we like to listen to our popular songs in the car, I'd be like, yeah girl, yeah girl, this is my ish, this is my song. Let me tell you, a lot of the popular music that's on the radio today is low vibrational stuff. <laughs> I wanted to say another word, but I'm gonna keep it clean. It's low vibrations, it is, and it is meant <laughs> to keep you in a low vibrational place, to keep you a zombie, to keep you asleep, all right? Um, to keep you depressed, to keep you anxious, to keep you fearful. And you don't even realize a lot of these things until you disconnect yourself away from it and then try to reintroduce it back into your life. I'm not saying you can never listen to music. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying choose wisely. I think that if you're in a party type place and you're having a party, there's a party going on and there's music and it's festive, it's a good time to enjoy it and just, you know, be what it is. But if you're listening to like twerk, 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 twerk every single day in your car to and from work, like this is keeping you in a very low vibrational place and you don't even realize what is happening. Yeah, you may feel a little good twerking, 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 right? But if you listen to a lot of the lyrics, they're not positive. It doesn't give you a positive view of yourself, of other people, the world, and it keeps you kind of in a low place without you, it's like a spell, right? Again, power in words, and that's why I went back to the affirmations. There is power in words, and there are power. there is power in these songs, in this popular music. What kind of message is the music giving. That needs to be on the forefront of your mind the next time you listen to the radio. So my advice to you is turn that radio off, put something else on like some binaural beats, right? Or some meditation music or something else or put something on that you can learn like, you know, listen to, I don't know, an audiobook or some something that you can learn something. But disconnecting away from that music will help boost your vibrations I'm telling you immediately. <laughs> okay, so while we're turning off the radio, I'm gonna ask you guys to turn off the news. Yes, the news is depressing. <laughs> yes, there is power in knowing what's going on in the world, what's going on in your community. And I'm not saying that you have to be totally disconnected. There's ways to get information and, you know, but you need to disconnect from watching these news programs all day, every day, checking up on everything that's going on in the news. It's depressing. There's a shooting, there's a bombing, there's a fire, there's a car crash. There is nothing really positive on the news, right? They're talking about the economies tanking. They're talking about these countries maybe going to war. This stuff is keeping you in a place of fear and a place of anxiety, and that is a low value vibration. Turn off the news and your vibrations will <laughs> go up right away. The third thing I'm going to ask you to turn off, which is point number nine, is the TV. Yes, I'm asking you to turn off the TV, at least for a little while. Not only is the news toxic, but reality TV is toxic. A lot of these TV shows and um, a lot of these movies have subliminal messages, just like music, 
that we are not even really aware of that's keeping us in a place of fear and keeping us in a place of depression um, and poor poor self-image. I mean, there is just a lot wrong <laughs> with what we're seeing and hearing on TV and on the radio. So if it's not a learning program, if it's not something that is helping to boost you up, I say you need to disconnect from it. The very last thing on my list, number 10, is to use the natural elements around you. The earth has provided us with an abundance of things to help us along our journey. You have trees, plants, dirt, sand, water. Get outside, get some fresh air every day. Sit out on the park bench, touch a leaf, put your toes in the dirt. <laughs> you know, if you're near a body of water, get by some moving water, a waterfall, a lake, a river, a beach. Listen to the waves, put your toes in the sand. Feel the earth's energy and vibrations and the healing all around you. The energy is already, vib the earth is already vibrating at its own frequency, right? And that's a higher vibrational state than we are in sometimes. So if you can connect to that and you can sync with that, it can boost your vibrations instantly. That's why people say, get outside and get some fresh air. Where do you think that saying comes from? It's because the nature, the earth, the vibrations of the earth automatically help boost your own. Use herbs, you know, for teas and tinctures and different things. Use the herbs to help you. Use the earth's elements. I wear a lot stones. I wear healing stones or healing crystals. They each have their own vibrational energy. So I wear different ones. I'll wear them on my wrist, I'll wear them around my neck, I'll just have them in my pocket or my bag. Use what the earth gave you. So again, I wanna reiterate that us going into these low vibrational states is very, very natural and it happens to the best of us. It is our duty, our job to protect our energy, to protect our vibrational field. And again, if you can just visualize it being a bubble of energy around you, you have to maintain that and keep it up. So once you get your vibrations up to a place where you are good again, I want you to do these things to continue to maintain your vibrational space because if you allow yourself to get lazy, you will slip off and then there is always going to be something waiting to penetrate. When it's waiting to penetrate your, 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 your shield, your bubble, or looking for a slight opening to get in and lower your vibrations. That is all I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and I wish you the highest vibrations and I will see you in the next one.